Costco, popular with shoppers, try to get their hands on much-needed necessities. But now, the FBI says scammers are using the company's name, hoping to get those needing cash to bite. It's a text message saying shoppers can get a $100 bounty or stimulus check from the store. They just have to click the link and complete a survey. The scammers are extremely creative and they prey on people's anxieties and fears in order for their own personal financial benefit. Craig Morangiello, the acting special agent in charge of the Cyber Intelligence Division of Phoenix, says they typically see scams like this spike during natural disasters and the coronavirus is shaping up to be a disaster of a new kind. They're being very creative in how they package their, uh, their emails to the public in order for us to be tricked. Costco isn't giving out that money, and if you click on the link, scammers could get your personal information. So if you get the text message, delete it. Also, be on the lookout for anyone promising they can get you stimulus money from the federal government. There's a lot of talk about how this is going to work, but the government is not sending unsolicited emails to people asking them to verify their personal information. Seeing more listings online for face masks, hand sanitizers, even products that could give you immunity to COVID-19. The FBI warning, while those products could look like the real deal, they could be putting you in danger. Recently in the past two weeks where there's been a, uh, a federal court that issued a restraining order against a website offering fraudulent coronavirus uh, vaccines from the World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. In addition, we also, uh, the FBI also arrested an individual in Southern California for fraudulently claiming that he had a uh, pills to cure or treat the disease as well. Before buying anything, check CDC guidelines. Things are changing almost daily. And if it's something like a mask, check to see what marking needs to be on the product. For example, there'll be a product number clearly stamped on the front of the mask. Go to kgun9.com for all of our virus-related stories. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know.